Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly <clears throat> from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, so some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel though for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but any and all signs are welcome. Okay, you guys, just real quick, if you want to get a personal reading, um, you'll have to go to the link in the description box below this video to book your reading, okay? Um, if you are trying to get a reading with me and you've had one with me in the past, you can definitely get another one. Um, but if you are new and you've never had a reading with me, you can uh, book with my other tarot readers that are there on the booking site, okay? So, real quick, okay, so I wonder if you guys can see that. I hope you can. I'm sorry if it's a little dark. I'll try to brighten it up before I upload. So you've got a love call coming in, Virgo. Um, let's see, someone expresses their love. Um, there's also a message of love. Someone is thinking of you right now, Virgo, and they wanna let you know. Okay, so that's nice. Let's see, I gotta get more into this reading, see what's going on here. Okay, and you've got date. <laughs> some of you are meeting someone new. Um, could be meeting someone new or someone is reaching out to ask you if you want to go on a date with them. Um, there's an energy of getting back out there or getting back to you, planning and setting a date. Okay, good. All right, what else? Okay, you've got I like you. Someone's interested in you. Wow, Virgo, this is going pretty well. Um, someone definitely likes you. Romance is blooming, um, fun flirting, and someone wants to date you, Virgo. Okay, and you have Girl with the Snake. So it could be um, if you are the year of the snake, this is definitely more specifically for you. Okay, so um, and for some of you, this could be someone who has a pet snake. Maybe you do. Um, let's see. Now it's interesting because I do feel like this person who's coming in is extremely charming. Um, and there is an energy of, it could be an empath with a narcissist, all right? And I do have to give that caveat. Um, okay, so um, I feel like the advice here for you, Virgo, it, all ready to start is um, just make sure you have your boundaries set before you no matter who you meet, make sure you've got some boundaries set. Oh, I wanna do the romance angels real quick. Okay, so somebody's definitely interested. Doesn't mean that they're definitely a narcissist, um, but there is someone here. Um, they could be, like, they may not be malignant. They could just, they could be someone who just is, has very high tendencies of that kind of energy. Um, or they could be someone who is very empathetic. Empathic, is that the right word? Um, and maybe you um, are displaying high tendencies of those narc traits, uh, like as a form of protecting yourself. Do you know what I mean? I'm not calling you a malignant narc, <laughs> Virgo, but let's try to keep it real. Okay. Um, so, okay. Someone's definitely making an effort. It's going to be making an effort. And you've got wedding and this could be the one. Okay, Virgo. Hmm. Let's, let's hope that this isn't something from yesterday. But we'll see how this plays out, okay? So there's definitely someone who thinks that you are going to be the one for them or you, or they already think you are the one for them. And this person wants to marry you or have that long-term kind of thing here. So there's definitely going to be an energy of making an effort. It's come up in the reverse, okay? Well, that's kind of funny because yesterday was... Well, yesterday it was the strength card in reverse. The sun in reverse, you know, it's still a good card. It's still a good, uh, still positive, okay? It's just kind of like um, things are slowly looking up. This is the message what I'm getting for you, okay? Um, going forward in your life. It's a very slow, uh, it, like everything's heading in the right direction. It's positive for sure, but it's a very, it's, it, it's kind of like the sun rising very slowly. Gosh, I feel like we're getting very similar things here. I don't know. So the page of cups is here. Yeah, there, there's, I do feel like someone's going to be reaching out to you, um, and sending you like a sweet text or a phone, like calling you. Um, it's not going to be like over the top crazy. It's just, 
telling you they are, they're missing you or they're thinking of you. Um, they want to let you know. They're wondering if you guys could get together, go on a date. Um, this could be somebody new as well <clears throat> because the Page of Cups is, well, uh, it can be new love. Okay, so let me see. Could be with a Leo as well. All right, what else? Okay, all right. So you've got the Six of Cups. Someone, and it showed up in the reverse, so someone's definitely stuck on you. This could be someone from your past and they're coming back around again. And with the tower and the magician, oh, somebody wants to make love. Definitely wants to make some love here, whether that's physically or just like the emotional connection. Um, I definitely feel like someone, this is going to be shocking hearing from, could be a Leo, could be a Gemini, it could be a Scorpio, um, and maybe Aries, but I feel like this is going to be kind of a surprise. This person is coming in and, you know, like they're going to, they're going to like the magic spell work their magic on you. I, I don't feel like it's spell work. It's just work the magic, like a, a very magical, like it's crazy. Um, hold on. I was going to ask a question. Okay. So you've got temperance. Wow. Yeah, this person really. So first I want to say like also I'm getting another message with the sun in reverse in the page of cups. I do feel like this person is tippy toeing towards you. Okay. I need to let that be clear. Um, like I said, they're not going to come out into the open uh, like the sun would represent like complete exposure. I don't feel like this person is going to expose everything. I, I do feel like they are going to like, they'll give you a, <laughs> going back to the chocolate cake. They'll give you like, um, a, a piece of cake instead of the entire thing. Okay. This person's, I, I don't know why they're going to go really slow, but it's like a slow reveal, um, of, of interest. But with temperance, I mean, I feel like this is a union that's very harmonious, could be a Sagittarius, but it's a very harmonious kind of a connection here. Um, it, it's like bring this person brings peace. That's what I'm hearing. They want to bring peace to a relationship, um, bring harmony, balance, um, bring moderation. I f oh gosh, you've got the eight of swords. Wow, our eight of uh, wands. Yeah, I mean, and this is fast. Like, I feel like this person's intention here is to just. <laughs> they're just showing me okay that's so strange they're showing me like a lot of kissy lips like popping off like bubbles <laughs> lots of kisses i'm hearing uh i feel like this person for some of you it's a kiss and makeup scenario kiss and make up okay now listen virgo okay wow look at that king of cups sitting right there that's even crazier. King of Cups sitting right there. All my cards are completely, none of them are in the reverse except for that one. So that's a definite water sign. Okay. The others, they, you know, the other signs that I called out, they were, they could have that, those signs in their chart. This is definitely a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces for sure. Um, I feel like this person has a serious thing for you. Like they're very passionate about you times eight times eight um their birthday could so they, their birthday could be march 8th could be july 8th or november 8th okay they're just they keep giving me this eight. Oh wow i just saw the ten of cups yeah i feel like virgo somebody's coming in to really make an effort with you and you're gonna hear from this person um and now they're telling me around may 8th you're gonna hear from this person wow okay so Oh, they're coming in and taking a risk here. So for some of you, like I said, you, you might know this person. You might not. This, again, this could be somebody new coming in for you who um, maybe this could be a new relationship with someone that you knew from the past, like your childhood. And I feel like I kind of talked about that before. But with this fool card, I mean, this is seriously like this person is going to take a chance here. Um, they want a new kind of beginning with you. Um and going on like they want to go on a trip or take an adventure with you go on some kind of a trip now we have Aquarius there but I'm feeling strongly like this king of cups um this oh there this is going to be a surprise from this person yes yes this is definitely going to be a surprise let me see here
Oh, and now we have the King of Swords. Well, of course we do. King of Swords always shows up. So we definitely have um, air signs showing up here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I did see Aquarius there. Okay. So I feel like you're also... Oh, strong Aquarius energy. I feel like... Um, oh, okay. They just said your person is... I feel like they're going to give you some kind of a gift surprise gift but it's going to be well thought out and it's something to do with healing or stars and moons it's something to do with healing or it's a spiritual gift um a promise maybe a promise ring or um a little emblem of something that says hope um it could be something to do with um a spirit yeah it's spiritual maybe it's something to do with um like um something to do with faith or someone's name might be hope or faith but i feel like this person is really really hoping for a a, a, a renewal of some sort with you and or in their love life okay um I don't know. I, I have this hesitation when I look at the King of Swords because, well, I don't know why I'm going to ask, but it's odd because the King of Swords is usually a chatty Kathy or a char chatty Carl. The King of Swords doesn't have a problem communicating, but I, f okay, I feel like this King of Swords is not a very good communicator, even though they're under the sign of someone that likes to talk to some extent. Um, I feel like, I don't know if they're tongue tied and I feel like that's why they're going to give you a gift to kind of represent, um, how they feel. Do you know what I mean? Um, because even the King of Cups is, is reserved with their emotions. I feel like it could be the same person, but I just get an energy like combining the King of Swords with the King of Cups. Uh, this person could be on the cusp of Libra Scorpio. Um, it could be a Gemini Cancer Cusper. Um, they could be an Aquarius Pisces Cusper. I just have to point that out. But the emotions run very deep with this person. is a very emotional person. But they don't generally communicate about their emotions. They generally communicate ideas, thoughts, um, surface kind of stuff okay and i don't feel like this person is really good at expressing their emotions but their intellect and their brain is telling them well let me give virgo a gift that will represent how i feel for them so i don't have to say it but the gift i choose is very thoughtful because sword energy is all about the thoughts and the intellect okay so phone call message and a gift of some sort okay um, somebody could also be in the spotlight too, or have an element of fame or notoriety. Oh my gosh, the cards that you're getting here, Virgo, is amazing. Nine of Cups. I mean, you're a wish come true for this person, for them, Virgo. You are. You're like a um, cornucopia of everything they could want. Like you represent everything to them. Like a little smorgasbord. You're like a little snack. <laughs> You know, um, I, I feel like this person likes the way that you look also. I don't know if they see that you're in like really good shape or you have good health. They like the way you look. This feels like a very, like uh, they could just eat you up all day long. Like if you were laid across the table and you had fruits all over you, they would just spend their whole day. Like a, you're like a little buffet, <laughs> a little buffet of, of, of yumminess, <laughs> Virgo to them okay <laughs> oh my gosh I, I, I just kind of get a sense that this person feels like I mean look at all this food on the table with all these drinks I mean it's just indulging in all this yumminess of you okay yeah <laughs> that's their whole intention oh my gosh she can't with this reading so the ace of cups I mean wow this is a blessing 
This is grace. The Ace of Cups always it could be a new baby, new relationship, proposal, marriage. This person's going to completely try to lock something down here with you. Um, their cup runneth over for you. Nine and Ace is a ten. Ten of Cups sits right here on the Ten of Cups. This is like complete and utter joy, happiness, emotional fulfillment, contentment, total love and support. Um, Virgo. <laughs> They could just drink from your cup all day long. They could just drink from your cup or whatever you like. They could just feast on you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay. The moon. Mm -hmm. Something very, very special about the moon. As a matter of fact, we are going into the new moon. And the new moon is basically hidden in the sky. And that, that I feel like there's some kind of um, deep, intense realization or feeling around the 20th of April for this person. Okay, they feel you very deeply during the new moon. It's hidden. It's, it's a hidden depth of emotion. Now, you know, I know that the moon can mean a lot of different things. Generally, the moon has about a hundred different meanings. But what I intuit from this here, when I look at this card, <clears throat> it's a very dreamy, illusionary kind of thing. I feel like this person has dreams about you, either on purpose or it's subconscious dreams, and they wake up in the morning and they think about you, Virgo. Okay. Um, and I did say, remember I said the moon and the stars... So uh, there's something about nighttime as well, the, the connection to you and this person. Um, now, if you knew them before, maybe you guys met at night or you spent a lot of time together at night. Nighttime was very uh, a special time or you both gazed at the moon together. This is a very romantic reading. I, have to, I, I just have to say, let me see. Um, this is like, uh, well, this person is like these voluntary changes. They're getting these moon downloads or messages. The moon, I don't know what the connection is. There's a connection to the moon. Every time they look at the moon, they think about you or they will be. Okay. And, and it's kind of like giving them a little clue or a sign that like wherever they go, they see the moon, they're reminded of you for some reason. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, it could be like some kind of a gift that has to do with the moon and the stars. There's mystery here. They're, they're very curious about you and want to investigate the depths and the dark. Um, the parts of you that are very ritualistic and the parts of you that are very wild. They're very intrigued. Okay, let me see what else is going on here, Virgo. They're very intrigued with you. And you, uh, the moon also represents emotions too, a cycle of emotions. I feel like they're going to get hit by how they, ch the depth of their feeling for you around the 20th, for sure, in a couple days or the next day from when you're listening to this. And I, that, that's going to start this whole chain where you start hearing from this person. I know I said May 8th for some of you, so watch out for May 8th. Some kind of miracle coming through here. Or you're going to hear from someone. Okay. Five of Wands. What's going on here? Oh, wow, it's funny how these cards happen. Hmm. Five of Wands. And one more wand with that page. Gives me that Six of Wands energy. This is victory over conflict. So if any kind of... Um, oh, all right, they give, just give me two messages. Any kind of conflict, if you knew this person before that you guys have had, there's victory. This person wants to overcome these issues or these obstacles or challenges in this connection. If you didn't know them before, somebody knew they're competing for your attention, it, whether you knew them or not. Okay, I'll say that. This person competing for, it will be competing for your attention. Like this person seriously is smitten with you. Um, they want you. <laughs> this person really, really does want you, Virgo. This is crazy. And it, it just feels like they will... <sighs> That's strange. Now I just got another message. While, while everybody is 
Because obviously this person thinks that there's a lot of people competing for your attention, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But they think that that's what's going on. And while everyone is there competing against each other for your attention, they're breaking away from that conflict and coming towards you and trying to get your attention. They're kind of like, I'm not getting in. I'm not going to stand there and fight with all these other people. Uh, all these other men or all these other women, I, I'm going to stand out and I'm actually going to approach, you know, um, Virgo. Okay. So they're kind of turning their back on all the other competitors that they think are in the ring trying to fight for your time, energy, and attention while they're all over there on the other side of the yard fighting they're walking away from that and they're like you know what screw them all i'm just coming to virgo and i feel like this person is definitely like they are so smitten with you that they're going to be reaching out to ask you um all right they're just saying with that page if okay they they come up with something really creative in their approach what is this what is this creative thing they come up with in their approach towards virgo okay the wheel of fortune oh okay so i'm hearing um Okay, they just said, um, do you want to go to Vegas? <laughs> well, I don't know if that's creative, but take a trip. Oh, gosh, you're kidding. Oh, my gosh. All right, I understand why they're saying this now. All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to give it to you straight. Pack your bags. We're going to Vegas. Put everything behind you. And this person, they're going to try to do a, um, like a Vegas wedding. <laughs> One of those uh, shotgun weddings. I'm hearing a shotgun wedding. This person is planning all this out when they reach out to you. Okay. <laughs> Listen, if this is somebody that you just meet, like it is absolutely, if you don't know this person, I swear this is very spontaneous because remember I said they were going to take some kind of risk in regards here to this 10 of cups this is huge <laughs> some of you um let me see when is may 8th let me just look okay it's a monday um <laughs> something going on that week this like i don't virgo i don't know if it's somebody new that you just happen to meet on may 8th i, I will tell you that like they kind of they're like yes let's do this it's a very spontaneous kind of energy and let's do this i don't know they go take you on a trip and you know or you you maybe you live near there and there's a connection there something happens there and boom you're you got a shotgun wedding going on here <laughs> i don't know what to tell you virgo i mean you do whatever you want to do that's the message that i'm getting because at first i was just kind of like what does vegas got to what's what's vegas got to do with it that's what i felt and yeah oh my gosh virgo the lovers yeah Virgo, this is like some kind of, I don't know, romance novel going on here. I told you, it's very romantic. It's very romantic. Um, I'm showing up here. I'm also picking up Taurus and Gemini. Could be Taurus, Gemini cusp as well. But I'm telling you, th this is going to happen here and fast. And I feel like you're going to agree with something here. This person is crazy in love with you. Not even in love, like, 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 yes, but I mean, like, they, they truly, like, you're it for them. You're it for them. This person wants to be, like, yours, and you be theirs. Okay, I, I can't even, compared to yesterday's reading, I don't even know what to say, but... Yeah, some of you, listen, if, if this is your past person that was an absolute narc, you know, this remember i said this could also be somebody new and it just is like spontaneous and fun and you know it doesn't mean that you're absolutely going to agree to do it. it it could just be maybe you guys are drinking or something i don't know but it's like it's just wild it's like a whirlwind kind of thing you've got decision 
So there will be a decision being made about this relationship for sure. And whether that's decision to, you know, go ahead and do that or not, but then still like have a lover here. Yeah, uh, definitely going to happen. Okay, let me see. Somebody's definitely decided. Okay, so go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Virgo's going to be like, we just met. And like, I'm not going to Vegas and getting married. But we can still take time to get to know each other. We can still take it slow. I feel like a, this person is going to be fine with it. Whatever you want, Virgo. Whatever you want to do. Okay, <laughs> whatever. You just tell me. Make the decision. I'm all yours. Whatever you want to do. Uh, someone's undergoing a spiritual awakening here. Wow, I told you this is a very spiritual connection for sure. That's what the lovers is. It's a very spiritual thing. All right, let me see what else. Okay, patience. Wow. Um, everything will unfold in divine timing. And I kind of feel like whoever this person is that they show up. Like seriously, if you want to go slow, Virgo, they say, we'll go slow. If you want to like seal it in Vegas, we'll do that. Whatever you want to do. I'm here. I'm yours. Whatever you want. I, I mean, seriously, this is just, all right, reading's done. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> just kidding. I feel like this is really exciting for you. That's all I'm saying. Um, all right. What's next here? Hidden truth. Okay. Do we want the hidden truth? I'll pull a couple of cards from the hidden truth for those of you where there was a connection here with this person before. Okay. Okay. If you knew this person before, just being near you is very toxic, intoxicating to this person. Like I'm telling you, Virgo, this person is obsessed, like not in a bad way, but like you're, are you guys get intoxicated together? <laughs> I'm not talking about blackout. I'm just saying there might be, there's something wild and primitive about this connection when it happens. I don't know how it goes from that. It just accelerates into this beautifully wild, like celebrating, dancing, having fun. The love is equivalent um, and reciprocal and two people just feel so amazing. Okay. But you definitely intoxicate this person. Okay. I hide behind material things and i replay our conversations over and over this person cannot stop thinking about you virgo like i mean seriously you've had some conversations with this person before um they know they messed up everything by burying themselves in work but they truly do love you okay virgo i don't know what to tell you i say all the time sometimes virgos just need turquoise popsicles melted over their heads because they can be a bit rigid and you should be in a lot of cases not rigid but guarding your heart um but there's it doesn't mean you can't have fun and go enjoy yourself and um just laugh live laugh and love laugh live and love love live and laugh whatever get out there and have a good time you've got somebody here who just wants to be in your presence like over the roof over the top wants to be in your presence no matter what that means whether that's just spending a little time together and going slow or getting wild with each other and you know going and getting married new or old okay the struggle is over here and we saw that with the ten of wands and like i was saying i feel like this person has been planning and studying and trying to figure out I just get this energy. I see this person like when they are free from work or um, whatever they're doing or if they're on vacation, they have some free time. I see this person like looking at their phone or looking through travel brochures and trying to figure out. Um, that's what I feel like this gift or the surprises as well. Trying to figure out like it's a slow approach, but to their intention is to like go the distance with you. Okay, there's the moon card again. So it's like trusting the intuition. This person, the decisions that they're making here, and what they're approaching you with is all based on their intuition and their deepest feeling, okay? Even though they do have the ability to be logical, I mean, there's no room for logic, unfortunately, when it comes to feelings, you know? Trying to blend them together is a task. But I feel like this person, because they just can't express their deepest feelings, they're using action, um to to do it to express how they feel okay 
All right, let me see what else is going on. I'm gonna throw an idea at you. I don't feel like this person is gonna just say, "Hey, let's go to Vegas and get married." I don't, like I said, I don't feel like they're gonna expose all that. But I feel like it's kind of like, okay, let's go there and then spend some time together, like a weekend or something, and then, hey, uh, you wanna go over to the chapel? <laughs> that kind of thing like just kind of segue into it all right putting in the effort so this person is yeah they're putting they're definitely putting in full-on effort here with you or will be okay <laughs> you had stand your ground but you kind of have it sideways so i kind of feel like virgo this is a message for you that says yes have your boundaries Okay, stand your ground with things. Whatever decisions you make, make sure they're your decision and you're not being manipulated. It's like something you want to do, right? Um, but don't have all your walls up. Don't have everything, like, don't be too rigid, is what I'm hearing. Unless you're looking at this person and you're seeing like crazy, like, batty eyes and psychopath stuff going on, then you absolutely do what you need to do for yourself, okay? So highly logical male in the reverse. Um, that's interesting because I feel like in the reverse means this person is using their intuition, their senses and their feelings here uh, coming out. It's just an energy of someone who's just really paying attention to how they feel more so like their, their head space. You're there. You're definitely um, renting space in their head for sure. Okay, toxic, tox, the devil in reverse. This is crazy. So I don't, it's been a while since we've had the devil in reverse. So this makes me feel like this person, um, yeah. Okay, very simple. Fun, sexy time with this person. Fun, sexy times. It doesn't mean it's not serious, but definitely a fun, flirty, exciting time with somebody here. There's no toxicity connected to this with this person. At least I don't feel that way here. They might be a little um, oh, fear and anxiety in the reverse. Okay. Opposite of fear, love. Opposite of anxiety, peace. Okay. Love and peace. 100% will be the feeling of this relationship, of this connection with this person. I feel like Virgo, for some of you, it is long time coming and definitely needed. Okay. Um, there is definitely a spontaneous thing that's going to occur here after this connection gets made. And I feel like some of you are not going to want to, I, I just kind of hear some of you snapping out of some energy and just saying, you know what? I need to be spontaneous. I need to take some kind of risk as well with someone who because they're they're trying to take a risk with you that's what i feel is going on here but i mean virgo his person is like crazy about you as a matter of fact let's see what their chinese signs so we can see who they are okay who is this person who is wild and crazy about virgo what do we have here okay year of the ox Year of the Goat, Two Horns, okay, Year of the Rat, oh, one wants to show up here, Year of the Dragon, Year of the Snake, like we said before, Year of the Pig, Ox again. Year of the rabbit. Dragon again. I feel like a horse is going to show up here. Goat and rabbit again. Okay, we've got year of the tiger. And the snake again. All right, I don't see a horse, but I did feel a horse. Okay, so I do feel like somebody is whoever this person is. This could be you as well with them. It could be both of you combined. But I did feel horse energy, and I don't know why. I just out all of a sudden saw the image of the horse in my head. Okay, so let's go on to um, names and randoms here, Virgo, and see what else we can pick up for you. If you know this person, or if you meet them, this might be their name, or what other random things I get from this. 
Okay. I just heard a P, letter P, or name starts with a P. Pete, Paul, Patricia. Okay. Somebody likes to play pool. Just heard that. Like, I don't know if they're a professional pool player. They just enjoy it. Okay, we got the letter H. Um, I heard Gina or Jennifer Henderson. I just heard. Okay. I just heard Haley. 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 Um, Haley. Uh... And I heard Megan. Okay, let's see. Yumi. Someone's name is Yumi. Okay. And Mimi or Marine. Okay, Mickey or Michael. Someone is from the Middle East. Just heard someone's from the Middle East. And I can't, I see the first. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. Is that? As, A-Z. I can't pronounce it. As, as Zerbaden or something like that. It's from the Middle East. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody said ask. They said ask. Ask me. Somebody wants you to ask them a question or they want to ask you a question. Ask. Or somebody says, what did you want to ask me? Or can I ask you something? All right. I, I just feel like you're going to see that text or you're going to hear those words from someone with the word ask in it. You Maybe you just heard somebody say that. I just heard, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you something? Um, okay, we have Joseph or Jose. Um, okay, and I just heard Juju. Juju. Or Gigi? Juju? Gigi? Ask me again. They just said that. Ask me again. Did you want to ask me a question? Uh, yeah, you can ask me again. It's so strange. I keep hearing this. It's, okay. And I heard Jim. Jim or James. Or Jem. Jim, James, Jem. Okay, let's see. Last one. Now, if you don't recognize any of these names, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Okay. Whoops. Okay, somebody needs to quit smoking them cigarettes or cigars, I just heard. Um, okay. Yeah, that was a message. Somebody needs to quit smoking. Quit smoking. Cigarettes, cigars, vapes weed or or take a time out from smoking that stuff <laughs> okay um yeah strong message all right let's get into your dice numbers and your charms okay pisces gemini again and double cancer Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, and Leo. And one more, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, and Virgo. Okay, so someone's born in 1968 and 1969. Okay, um, someone's born in 78, also 1977. 
And something very uh, significant happened in July of 2016, a significant month. So that was six years ago. No, seven. <laughs> I like I'm not a, I'm just horrible with simple math. I could I could do trigonometry, calculus, all that very easily, but simple math, it's just the more simpler it is, the more complex I find it to be. Because <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But something in July of 2016, very significant time period. I don't know why I tell you guys the things I do. I'm a complete weirdo. Um I went from, it's so funny, when I was 18, <clears throat> I want, I've always wanted to be um, an Air Force pilot, a fighter pilot. I've never told anyone this story. And I, I was like, so, like, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a pilot, like a fighter jet, pi fighter pilot. And um, I enlisted in the Air Force when I was 18. <laughs> and I was, like, getting all my stuff ready to go and crazy. And unfortunately, I, I wound up not going because my love of my life boyfriend at the time, yes, I had a boyfriend I waited, well, when I was 18, but I had a I had a boyfriend that was like, he didn't want me to go. He was like, no, you can't. It's so deep. No, I'll never see you again. And I was stupid and young. And I said, okay, I won't do it. But I find it ironic because <laughs> I wound up became a, becoming a tarot card reader. So you see the dichotomy? And I think Virgos are kind of like that. Like we can, especially Virgo roosters, like we can, we are a master of so many things. Like we can do so many things. If it's complicated, we can, we master complicated things. And I feel like maybe we don't really enjoy the simple things because they're not challenging enough. Does that make sense? Like I know so many Virgos who are like, they've got like 10 different businesses. They, they have their hands in every single, they have an iron in every, every iron in a fire and every iron in different fires. I mean, Virgos are just multi-talented, multi-faceted. The things that interest them, they truly, it doesn't matter. They don't have to be related. Whatever they're interested in, you guys will completely like, f you will go from like just being uh, like a bakery cook to being CEO of, um, I don't know, transistor radio, radio company or something like you, the, it's such a huge difference, but it's because you're so versatile. And that's like, if I don't know if you know that about yourself, but every Virgo I've ever met has always had all these, the, these abilities to do things. And if it interests them, they want to explore it. You know what I mean? I don't know where that came from. I just felt like I needed to tell you. Okay, someone is 36. Um, someone was born on September 14th. Um, also September 12th. Um, <clears throat> 2012 was also a very significant time period. Um, someone was born in 1990. My gosh, 1990 was... How many years ago was 1990? 33... I don't know. I can't add again. You guys figure it out. Um, it was a long time ago. And uh, somebody's going to find a hundred dollar bill or whatever your currency is. Uh, 100, a bill, a, a 100 monetary bill somewhere just out of the blue. Or maybe you've already found one, but I feel like surprise. <laughs> Here's an extra hundred bucks. Okay. Let me see. August, September birthdays. Okay. All right, we have August 30th and the 31st, August 30th and the 31st, um, September 8th and the 5th, I might have said those already, and the 17th. Okay, and also let me give you, they're giving me some zip codes, 90817. Um, if your phone number, country code, I see it's either 36 or 93, country code. Also, um, 31, 31, okay. And then we also have some last four digits, or at least we're in America. Um, 1309, and that could be it, it, it turned around. You could shuffle that around any way you want. One two five eight and one seven three zero seventeen thirty. 
All right, let me get you a charm. And then we'll be back again here tomorrow for your... I should do a new moon reading. I think I might do a new moon reading for tomorrow, but I'm also going to do um, the general for you as well. Okay, what do you have for charms? Wow, that's pretty. Something to do with um, blue flowers. I don't know where you live, but you might you might see a blue flower somewhere. Okay, um, blue flower, but it's more like a pastel blue. I don't think I've ever seen a pastel blue flower, but you might see one somewhere. So I feel like it's really important that you pay attention if you see a blue pastel blue flower because I do feel like that will signi signify something very spiritual for you. Um, for some of you, they just said, tell Virgo it's going to be a boy. All right, whether that's a pet or a human, <laughs> um, it's going to be a boy. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh, all right, you've got, all right, that I'm going to leave last because I have to figure out what that is. I'm not really sure, but I think I might know. We also have um, a guitar. So I'm seeing either someone plays music or plays a musical instrument or builds, carves, creates, crafts, musical instruments to sell, okay? Someone might be in a band. This could be, or, or um, an opera, or some kind of uh, musical ensemble of some sort, okay? Or maybe you're gonna be going to see uh, a rock concert or some kind of concert where there's music. Now, this thing, give me a second here as I try to figure out Sometimes this happens where we get these charms and it's like, what the heck is, what the heck is that? Hold on, you guys. I have no, something that has a tail. I don't even know what the hell it is. Let me show you. Cause I mean, I don't know what it is. Oh, Sorry for the um, the slow, no no sound, but I'm just like, this is freaking me out. I don't know if it's a shrimp or a squid or some kind of a fish. I can't even hold it. Hold on, you guys. Does anybody know what the heck that is? Let me bring it kind of closer. You guys, I, I, I don't know if that's like a, sh is it a shrimp? I don't know what the hell it is. I can't, it looks like it has little flipper fins. I don't know what that is. I uh, generally have a pretty good handle on these charms and I don't think I've ever pulled this before. Is that a lionfish? You guys, I've never seen a fish with like, I guess that's a fin tail. Um, so you know what here's a little game we're gonna play if you know what that is uh, i know you can't leave comments because i don't have the comments open i might open it for this but if you're in the chat you can definitely leave a comment but if you don't i want to tell you that whatever that if that resonates or this thing looks like something that you might know what it is um and you are like i know exactly what that is and i know exactly what that means for me then i want you to um take that upon yourself to say that's a message for me okay here's another the other side of it <gasps> i figured it out it's a mermaid holy ish you guys <laughs> okay maybe you already knew it's a mermaid oh my gosh barnacle boy where's barnacle boy and mer merman um okay i don't know why that just came to me they just said barnacle boy and mer merman merman so okay something going on here with a mermaid i don't know what that means you might see a mermaid somewhere or there's a hotel with mermaids um or there's mermaids in your bathroom i can't believe we spent all this time at first i thought it was a lionfish no it, it's significant for somebody definitely doesn't resonate for me but it might later if you guys don't know what it is right now but yeah that's a mermaid it could be um a connection with a pisces female as well i feel like i need to tell you that a pisces female could be significant for someone all right you guys so that was a whole heck of a lot of fun i'm going to leave your reading there i hope that you enjoy that and i will see you all back here tomorrow 
Have a great night. Don't forget if you want to book a reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Definitely go on over there and book readings. Um, as soon as you can, if you need it. All right, love you. Oh, also, um, for those of you who have just recently emailed me asking for a reading, I don't respond to the, those emails. Just go to my website and uh, book your reading. That's all you need to do. If you're trying, if you're new and you're trying to book with me personally, I'm not accepting new client, new new clients anymore. Um, at least going forward, I have two new tarot readers. One is already available, and the other one I'll, she'll be coming up this week. Um, you may book with them to get a personal reading, and you can trust me. Their their style is the same as mine because I pretty much trained them. And as far as um, those of you who have booked with me before, I'll say again, you may continue to do so. All right, you guys have a great night and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Bye.